manufacturer i United Engineers for a Scotland in the construction sector. I'm going to ask you a number of questions today to see what your views are and to see what your policy is going forward. United and the Blackwater Support Group have been actively campaigning for a uh, Scottish public independent inquiry into the blacklisted scandal of construction workers in Scotland. What is your view on that, Alex? Well, I think, John, that we should have an inquiry mm -hmm. because we need to know the extent to which blacklisting has been going on in Scotland mm -hmm. impacting on Scottish workers. We are told that disproportionately more Scots have been impacted by blacklisting. Mm -hmm. I think everybody was horrified when they saw the scale of the blacklisting that has been taking place. So an inquiry is something that we need to establish exactly what has gone on and then to there start to look at what we do to ensure it never happens again mm -hmm. and that those companies who want to continue these practices will not be getting public sector contracts. Right. Just to come in on the back of that, Alec, we've also got a concern and we'd like to get included in that what active part the Scottish Police play eh, with the duty. They were, they were actively, or, or what active part did they play eh, in the surveillance of eh, trade unionists and environmental activists? I mean, it's well known that they were actually infiltrating in on these people and, and spying on them. Eh? Well, I think the fact that there is such a concern there, if for no other reason but to restore confidence in the police, it would be outrageous if the police had been involved in this process. So as part of that inquiry, we should be looking at what the role, if any, the police had, um, because those, those, those are very serious concerns that need to be addressed. Thanks for that, Alec. The next question I'm going to ask you is, the construction industry in Scotland is mad. Uh, with bad working practices such as bogus self-employment, uh, the use of umbrella scams, uh, payroll companies, uh, excessive use of agency, it totally undermines uh, the construction industry collective agreements and doesn't provide decent jobs within the industry. What's your view on that, Alex? When they, when they build the economy, we've got to be clear that we build the economy. It's got to be a high-wage, high-skill economy. So we need to be investing in skills, but we then need to ensure that there are proper good work practices in place and the agreements that have been achieved over many years mm -hmm. by the trade unions have to be adhered to. As part of that, we should be saying there's a complete ban on these zero-hour contracts. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to take them out. Mm -hmm. But the, the growth the agency workers, where actually, you know, you've got a third person taking part of the profit and part of the wage, yeah. is really worrying the growth over the last number of years. So we've got to be clear that we want a different type of economy in Scotland and we need to take the steps through procurement, through legislation mm -hmm. if necessary mm -hmm. to achieve that. Thanks for that, Alec. The next question I'm going to ask you is in relation to there's a big skill shortage within the construction industry in Scotland. I mean, there's a skill shortage of electricians, plumbers, joiners, bricklayers, etc. What is your position and what, what are you going to do to actually eh, correct that? Is it not incredible that, that in 2016 we have a housing crisis in Scotland? And if we were to start to tackle that housing crisis, as Labour is saying in Scotland, with mm -hmm. 45,000 council houses, 60,000 affordable houses, the building trade, as you're saying, tell us that we've got a shortage of brickies, plumbers, plasterers, mm -hmm. yet we have all these young people that are coming through our education system and unable to get an opportunity or a skill. So we're quite clear. What we're saying is we will set up regional economic partnerships across Scotland and that part of their role will be to work with the different sectors in a tripartite arrangement with employers, trade unions and government, and in this case local government, to ensure that we're actually planning ahead and that we're giving people the opportunity to get the skills, to get the apprenticeships in order to get the jobs. It is a travesty. We have companies, recruitment companies, all over Europe right now trying to find skilled labour to bring to Scotland, to work into Scotland, mm -hmm. to plug Scotland's skills gap. What we need to be doing is address skill, Scotland's skills gap by giving people here the opportunity and the skills to be able to get the jobs. Thanks for that, Alec. The next question is basically, Scotland is crying out for decent social housing. Given that the construction industry plays a big part in our economy, what do you propose to do about that? Today we're being we're, we're sitting here talking, John, in mm -hmm. this 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 new centre up in Kelty. Mm -hmm. This centre was built by Fife Council, you know, so not built for Fife Council, but built also by Fife Council. Mm -hmm. So your direct works organisation, your property services, the design mm -hmm. of the building, the actual building of the building. Mm -hmm. What that demonstrates is that 
when it comes to new builds, mm -hmm. then local authorities are at the fore here in Fife. There have been to construction sites on Glasgow mm -hmm. where we've seen the direct works there actually delivering uh, new schools. So we need to ensure that there is a programme a new build and that the local authorities are in the lead role. Local authorities can then subcontract. The other thing about the 2,700 house build programme in Fife is that it's been built through a mixture of private and public. And what that ensures is that there is a whole apprenticeship programme in place. So in Fife we see that there are hundreds and hundreds of new apprentices year on year coming through the local authority. But linked to the procurement we're seeing hundreds of new apprentices coming through um, the private sector, mm -hmm. so that if you're going to get a job building houses for the council, mm -hmm. then you need to demonstrate that you're going to take on local labour and you're going to take on apprentices. Mm -hmm. We need a house build programme. Shelter mm -hmm. Scotland say we have a housing crisis in Scotland. We need to address that. And I would say to you, mm -hmm. in 2011, the SNP government then said that if they got back in, they would build 30,000 social rented housing. Once they got back into power, they then dumped that idea and replaced 30,000 social rented housing for affordable housing. As you know and I know, there's a big difference. So we need a commitment to build social rented public sector housing um, and we need to get on with that. That will create the jobs, the opportunities, give people the skills and it will boost our economy. But most importantly, it will tackle the unacceptable housing crisis that we have in Scotland at this present time. Thanks for that. Okay, thank you very much.